Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up the VP Mail SMTP plugin for WordPress. Um, so you're going to use this plugin if you just started a website and you need emails to to go out from your website. Usually when you when you just installed it or when you just set up your website, your emails might not work correctly or your emails for example from your contact us form so if you if you go to your website um, typically you'd have a contact us form or you'd have an application form or something like that and then you'd want uh, to contact you from your website so for example you have a form like this and you want your customers to fill it in and you want that to send you an email um, what's going to happen is that it's going to either not get delivered or it's either going to go into the person's spam uh, box and we don't want that so let's get started so if you haven't already what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to plugins and you'd go to add new and you'd search for VP mail SMTP plugin uh, and you'll, you'll go ahead and install that once you've done that um, you actually need to set up an API with Google Cloud um, and to do that I'll put the link in the description you'd go to the Google Cloud platform and once you're here we're just going to need to set up an API so that we can direct our mails through the Google platform uh, and use that SMTP to get our mails out so to start we'll come over here and then we'll just create a new project so if I can just show you if we go into the me into this plugin if we go into settings I can just show you what we, we're trying to achieve so what we're trying to achieve is um, we are trying to we're going to go through the setup later and or actually let's just do it quickly I'll quickly run through it go to settings you'll put in your from email the, the and you'll click on force from email because you want it to go from that email address you put in your from name um, I will click on return path so that you can know when we have bounce back messages and then the mailer is I'm using Gmail or Google Mail to send emails and so once we we come here we can see that it wants a client ID client secret and then authorize the redirect URL um, so this is what we're going to set up in the Google Cloud platform so that we can uh, go through that API to send our emails okay so go back to the Google Cloud platform and we'll just come and say create project you can just name your project fine and then I'll say create once that's created I'm going to go over to APIs and services APIs and services and go to oh, sorry let's go back I'm just gonna go to credentials and this is where we're going to need to just create our credentials We're going to 
create an OAuth client ID. Click on that. And click on configure consent screen. And then we're going to click on external and click on create. And now we're just going to fill in the app information. We're going to fill in our email address. If you want to put a logo there, you can put a logo there. that and then I'm going to add an email address to notify you about any changes so I'll just add that again over here And then what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to add our authorized domain which is the website CURL. Oh. Sorry about that. And I'm just going to copy, copy that. Copy that. Go back and we'll just paste it over here make sure that you have the correct HTTPS um, and you have that so now we can just click on save and continue and just remove that from you doesn't want that in and I'll click save and continue So the next step is scopes. Uh, I think we can skip that, it's not necessary. I'll click save and continue. And then just to note that when you, when you, the first time you're setting it up, what Google generally does is they first uh, publish your, your API to test mode. And then we will just need to go push it to production. So we can just say save and continue from here. And then it comes to this page over here. We can just run through it. And make sure that we have everything in, everything's correct. And we can say, that's right. And then that's set up can go back to dashboard and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to publish that app and let's click on publish and push it to production and then that shows that it's in production over there great so now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get our client ID and our client password. So we come back here. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create some credentials. Come over here, click on create credentials, click on OAuth client ID click on the web type we're going to say web application you can just leave it as default as web client one and now we're going to authorize our javascripts for use from a browser and authorize redirect urls 
so we're going to come over here and we're going to click on add URL and we're just going to want to copy and paste the URL that it's going to be sending from Control C come back over here and paste and we just need to make sure uh, must not gonna end with that, that so just remove that and then that's fine just need to make sure that it's HTTP or HTTPS and we're gonna need to add our authorized redirect URL and this is going to be the VP um, URL that the plugin will use let me just try to find that I'll leave the the um, URL in the description and that's it over there and we can click on create cool so now it created our ID and now we can copy our ID and our secret copy my ID and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paste it over here and then I'm gonna go back and copy the secret password and I'm gonna go back and I'm going to paste it over here and I'm gonna come down over here and I'm gonna click on save settings so the settings were saved successfully and We're going to come back down here and now we're going to say allow plugin to send emails using your Google account. We're going to click on that and it's going to ask us to go to our Google account and then it's going to ask us to allow the plugin to be able to send on our behalf and we're going to click on allow. And that's going to take us back and you'll get this message that says you have successfully linked the current site with your Google API project now you can start sending emails through Gmail also please note that it will take a couple of minutes to a couple of hours for the API to actually start working correctly so what you can do in the meantime is you can head over to your dashboard and we can go to the API overview over here and we can wait un until it actually starts uh, pushing data in, uh, through the API uh, and we can just check again in a couple of hours which is what I will do because just so that you can see that if I come back here and I come to test email or I go back to the plugin it will come up with this error over here to say that it's not working yet so that's what I'll check later so the next step uh, was I actually forgot to what we actually need to do if it doesn't want to send um, I didn't need to do this before but I see it's changed now is we need to go activate the Gmail app within the cloud server so if you come over here so if your emails wouldn't, wasn't sending after uh, configuring it like that all we need to do is then come to uh, to the severe go to menu and then go to Google workspace over here and then we're gonna go to product library And then once we're here, let's go to pl product library over here and then we're going to scroll all the way down to Gmail API. We're going to click on that and then we're going to click on enable. I've already enabled it. So you just click on enable here and that will activate the Gmail API app. And then we can go back and test it again. And then we can see if it's working from your website. Click on submit. And we 
can come in here and it's there. Cool. So, yeah, that's how you do it. You can come over here also if you want and you can come test it over here. If you're in the plugin and if you are here, you can just come inside here and you can click on email test and then put in whichever email address you want to send it to and just click on send email. And that will send that. Obviously, it's going to tell you you still need to set up your SPF and DKIM and DMARC. I do have videos on how to set that up as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.